you have to check it out now. Holy! They caught my boy lacking. Financially, of course. Now, if you guys don't know, they caught my man 6 9 lacking in court. Basically, he's telling the court right now, man, I'm broke as shit. Can't afford nothing, okay? I'm really struggling, and my career is pretty much at a standstill, all right? Now, it kind of made news, but of course, nobody cares about the context, but that's why you're here listening to me. Now, let me just give y'all what, what he's being sued for. So he's in court, and everything's going to make sense after you hear the full context. Nobody reporting it is adding context to it, so it sounds crazy. 6 9 is being sued by two people. Two people who were around the area when Shadi and the other four Treyway members hopped out of a car a rainy day in 2018 to rob Scumlord Dizzy at the This Is 50 building, like the little lobby area, okay? They pulled out a gun on him. Yo, give me your stuff. This and third. 6 9 was in the car filming, okay? And 6 9 basically then got the video to the blogs. Now, here's the thing. The people who were robbed... They're saying, and by the way, actually it's not even the people who were robbed. It's the people who witnessed the robbery. They're saying they got PTSD, can't sleep, horrified, terrified, first time they saw a gun. They're, they're having cold sweats every time they watch a movie. Every time they, they're about to take money out of the bank, they're having panic attacks. So you know what they want to get paid for witnessing a robbery? They want to get paid $5 million each. It's two people. So they want $10 million from 6 9 Now, here's the thing. 6 9 clearly don't want to pay $10 million. Number two, keep it real, he don't even think he's at fault. Number one, he was not involved in terms of he wasn't out of the car with the gun in the actual robbery. He was in the car. Was he filming? Yes, but he was in the car and not even in the sight of the two people who claim they got PTSD. By the way, the person who's suing or the two people who's suing, they're not suing nobody who had the actual gun. They're not suing Shadi. They're not suing nobody else. They're only suing 6 9 Why? Because he got the bag. Okay. So what is 6 9 trying to say in court? Your Honor, not only should I not get sued because I ain't got nothing to do with this. Secondly, um, I'm broke. I'm broke as hell. What are you talking about? So he basically told the court, I am broke. Now, he's saying he owes money in back taxes. He's saying... This year, he ain't really do nothing. His career ain't going right. And again, let me just say, if somebody won $10 million from me, I'm broke too. Okay? Now, I know what some of y'all are saying. All right, that's your homie. You sticking up for him. Okay? Here's the point. Because I read through this all the, the whole all the court documents. 6 9 and his team basically already even suggested to the court that, number one, nobody gets paid $5 million each for situations like this and they brought up an old case of somebody quote unquote witnessing a robbery and them quote unquote actually really catching PTSD according to medical records and I believe they said the only like you know with the time pass they have these multipliers they only got paid like $25,000 if the whole thing gets thrown out and 6 9 only has to pay $25,000 to each person which is $50,000 this case will be over but these motherfuckers want $5 million okay now it's not gonna happen okay not gonna happen right so he has provided some stuff, and as much finessing, if you ask me, he could do, he's doing. And what I mean by finessing is you can't lie, so you got to tell the government the truth. However, y'all all know it's rappers. Rappers get money from a lot of different areas. Not everything can be reported. That's why sometimes when the, when the IRS find out later, they come back around for it. So he submitted pretty much everything that got paid to him by his record label, which, by the way, is pretty accurate. You look at 2020, when he just got out, you're going to see about $9.7 million in terms of income, which I always tell y'all, these rappers only get paid from their advances from the label. If you look at that, by the way, he got signed for $13 million for two albums. If you look at the math on that, if he got paid 75% of that, which if you don't know how it goes, you get half. Um, so it's two albums, right? So I would imagine that one album is going gonna, is gonna to be half of the money, the other album half of the money, right? So you get half of the half up front, and then the rest of the half when you turn the first album. You turn in Tattletales, so you should get half of $13 million. He then gets another uh, advance for the Spanish album that he's supposed to deliver. 
But of course, he didn't deliver the Spanish album, so he ends up with $9.7 million, not the 13 that he signed for, okay? It's pretty simple and explanatory, right? Now, he's telling the truth, right? So he, of course, you know, the, the expense is going to be a little bit, you know what I mean? Everything's going to be an expense, right? You know what I mean? My car is going to be an expense. My house is going to be an expense. It's going to be all type of expenses, okay? Me getting stuff my mom, my clothes, my jewelry. So they're going to be, like, doing all type of stuff with expenses. That's just what it is, okay? Touring, he's not really signed to, like, a big conglomerate, like, motherfucking, like, you know, um, Live Nation. So it's easier to kind of like finesse with the touring money. Again, I don't want to really like just blow the lid off this whole thing. Salute to 50 Cent. A lot of people know this type of game, okay? By the way, here's the real thing. And if 6 9 was really going broke, I would be honest and tell y'all, right? But it's not going to be a declaration in court that tells you this. Anyone who goes to court, they usually go to court and say, I don't have money. Because if you tell them you have money, you're basically allowing yourself to get robbed if you get found guilty of whatever they're trying to sue you for civilly. Right. If six times really going broke, you're going to see foreclosures. You're going to see stuff being sold. You're going to see stuff being auctioned. Those are real things. Right. If he's broke and he can't pay, like, say he's, he owes back taxes and he can't pay because he don't got enough money. The IRS could seize his cars, seize his house and put it on sale. That's just how it goes. So if you're really broke, the government will take your stuff and they will put it up for sale. And even then, it might get a little complicated because sometimes people allow certain things going to foreclose, whatever the case is. But that is more of a indication that somebody's going broke. This looks like he ain't trying to pay the money. And I'm going to be honest, if I didn't rob nobody, but my homies robbed somebody in a lobby, and not even the people who got robbed is suing, it's people who know, the, who, who are there, who witnessed the robbery, who are suing me for $5 million each, hell on out of here. And if I got to say I'm broke to not pay y'all, guess what? I'm broke. OK, hopefully it gave you some better understanding. You guys, please watch my podcast. The link is below. I talk about this way more in depth. Probably try to stream tonight as well. But watch the podcast link below if you want more details on is 6 9 going broke, the current state of his career. And also, I have a different twist on why I think this might not be a bad thing. OK, get a comment. You guys like them. Subscribe. What do you guys think about this? It's more academics. Hello.